area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Battling is a crazy look. I'm like a footy shop pedicure after the shop Megan foot. Look, my you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Click and blend. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my nigga Showtime SP. I'm on that Starbucks mango dragon fruit lemonade. I keep telling y'all about that for a reason. That shit is fire. But uh, let me get right to it, you know, spit straight fluid, get right to it. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. I say that all the time because I truly appreciate it, you know what I mean? Um, Sue Surf, Sue Surf, who has a battle coming up with none other than John John and Don, has uh, reached, re reached out and, and posted about this whole Cassidy. You know, Cassidy and Tory Lanez is going back and forth with each other, you know what I'm saying? One sent the disc record, Tory Lanez sent his disc record. Uh, and I recapped when I first heard the, the cash joint, but then after that, I kind of like got into some other shit because like these disc records, they cool, but it ain't really, not, I'm not really moved, you know what I'm saying? I don't be really moved. Like I don't, I can't really explain it when it comes to the battle rap shit. Like there's just certain subjects and certain topics that move you. And these disses just wasn't one. I don't know. It was what it was. I mean, but I did listen to cash disc. And also, when I be playing these disc records in my blogs, like, the blogs get flagged and shit. Like, these niggas be having companies. You can't play the music. So, my, my blog is getting... I'm not... So, y'all get it. It's, it's just not working for me. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. So, um, Cass had the freestyle. It was called Plagiarism. It's a freestyle or a song. Um, and it's like seven minutes long, whatever the case may be. And he's rapping about a lot of different things. But Sue Surf took offense to Cassidy using a line or flipping a line that him and Rock said the before the shot jump after the shot Beasley line. I'll get into that. Uh, Sue Surf says, how Cassidy's song named plagiarism, but he still me and Tay Rock shit. Then he acted Cassidy saying at Cassidy Larceny, how you make a big fuss about Tory Lane stealing your shit then respond by stealing shit. You you can't do weird shit while calling a nigga weird, plus this is trash. Like, the joint it wasn't even like, like I said, I ain't hating. I'm just, you know, the truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth. If it was one of the craziest records that I heard, I'm pretty sure I would have blogged on it. You know what I'm saying? I blogged on the first one. But it really, the second one, like I said, the movie didn't move me. I'm sorry. It was what it was. But Sue Surf is saying, so what's the line for those who ain't hear it? Because there's some niggas who just didn't hear it. He said, before the shot, pedicure, after the shot, Megan's foot. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about Tory Lanez saying, you know, before the shot. And he's re referencing the fact that Tory Lanez allegedly, I, I can't put it out there and say that he did something because I wasn't there and he hasn't been convicted of a crime. So allegedly, you know, blam, blam, trigger, blam, Harlem Nights. I'm just going to leave it there. So Sue Surf is basically saying like, yo, you can't wild on Tory Lanez for stealing your shit. I mean, Tory Lanez do, he do be borrowing a lot of niggas' flows. You know what I'm saying? He even said it in the, in the freestyle. I took your shit, so what? Like, he just, that's what he do. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I said it before, like, uh, you know, he, Tory Lanez had a line hot in the place. Next one diss me, gonna get shot in the face. And then, you know, Cassidy had the, the old school line, next nigga diss me is getting shot in the mouth. I got more change than you got in your cow. Like, come on, the flow, we all know. I don't have to sit here and break down every single line bar for boy. Tory Lane said that he took cash shit, and he had no problem doing it. But Cash's big issue was, like he said in some of his interviews, is that, yo, we don't break bread together. You don't pay, you pay homage, but the way you pay homage is not like reaching out, not like getting on a song, not like, he's like, you don't even follow me on Instagram. He had an um, interview, I believe it was on Hip Hop Uncensored or something, like Uncensored. It was a long interview where he pretty much broke down his correlation of the whole thing, where he voiced his disgust of Tory Lanez using his flows or using his bars and he said that he did it before on Funkmaster Flex then he turned around and did it again you know what I'm saying so he was kind of like we're not getting we are not getting away with this but the thing is um, like the disjoint 
while it is long, while he does have some bars and he is taking shots at Tory Lanez, the beat, the, everything just sounds dated. I'm just being honest, like I'm not hating. Like it's just, you know, the truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth. The joint sounds very dated and you know, it is what it is. So that's why it probably didn't, Tory Lanez responded. You know what I'm saying? He responded in his freestyle. He said something like, I put cast in the same casket your career was in. And then, you know, you, you know how that shit goes. But I don't see this going far because Tory Lanez is not a battle rapper. Cassidy does battle rap. But Tory Lanez is not going to come battle rap Cassidy or that shit is not going to happen. And then when it comes to Sue Surf, Sue Surf has a whole battle coming up with John John and Don. He has a project coming out until further notice. He does have another project coming out. And I know Sue Surf says, you know, he be saying that niggas be liking to start narratives about him and shit. So I hope, I hope that you're watching this. I really do. Because you know what? I think these niggas, these niggas be watching these blogs and shit. They see their name in the title, they watch it. So when Sue Surf did the bars on I-95 freestyle, I did a whole recap on the freestyle. I did the top five or top 10 moments of the bars on I-95 freestyle. I did a, 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 a 725 when that mixtape came out. We did the whole recap. Matter of fact, he called in. We spoke about the mixtape. Uh, you know, he did like every time Sue Surf drops musical projects. To me, he does the best music out of all the battle rappers. I've said this time and time again. But if I have an opinion about a battle rap or a battle that's coming up, it gets looked at as a narrative. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You cannot buy the groceries and they get mad when the food gets cooked. Like, it's got to be one way or another. Either I can support. Your music, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people that they really be wanting support with their music. Like they like when I do these uh when I put people on the intro of the videos and stuff like that, that's some people's biggest look. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these blogs do 10, 20, 50, 100, 000. You know how hard it is for an independent artist who nobody knows to get their music in front of 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 people is very difficult. So what I do is I try to provide an avenue for some artists to get their music out there. The dude, keep me a toaster. Like, like, come on, son. For if whether you liked it or not, his his song, his video did thousands and thousands of views off the fact that he was on this channel. So we will talk about your music, we will highlight your music, but come on, you can't get mad when we talk about battles and say and talk about things that actually happen. You know what I mean? Um I think they did a as a matter of fact, Chris and Bias did a blog and Showtime SP was in it. I didn't get to watch it, but I think they said his record was something crazy, like five and fifteen or some 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 crazy number. But I seen him respond, being Sue Surf, saying that he's more concerned about having classics than wins and losses. Okay, I get it, cool. Then I seen people tweeting about, oh, they would like to see Sue Surf versus Cassidy. Absolutely not. That is not. No, 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 no. I'm not interested in seeing no battle of that type ever. No. Surf needs to worry about John John and Don because I guarantee you, John John and Don is going to be in a different bag. He had, every time he has a grudge match with somebody, the last real, real grudge match he had was Jack Boy Main. I mean, Ace I mean was a grudge match because that kind of got pushed that way, per se. So, I'll, yeah, we could say Ace I mean was a grudge match. They had, like, real street shit, like, so, yeah. The last real grudge match she had was Ace I mean, but the one before that I was thinking of on URL, um, let's go there, was was Jack Boy Main. You've seen how that went. If Sue Surf plays any amount of games with John John and Don, you're going to see a repeat of that performance. I promise you that. I fucking promise. I don't care if it's called a narrative. You can say whatever you want. But Sue Surf, in this regard, is right. When he's saying about Cass, Cass, Cass cannot get mad at Tory Lanez for taking anything if you take him before the shot, after the shot. We all know who shit that is. That's rock shit, that's surf shit. Before the shot, Shumpert, after the shot, Beasley, before the shot, Pedicure, after the shot, Megan's foot. And that wasn't even really a high, was it? I don't even really know what that was. That was all right, you know what I'm saying? It was all right when you go in that Tory Lanez and shit, you know what I'm saying? But this beef on a scale of one to ten, it's maybe like a five or a six right now. It's not It's not giving what it's supposed to give. Tory Lanez is not paying. I mean, he did the freestyle going that cast. He took his bars before. He said it on the joint that I took your flow, nigga, so what? When somebody says some shit like that, they really don't give a fuck. They took your flow, so what? I don't respect it. 
But Tory Lane's been known for swagger jacking and taking people's flows and taking people's shit. He's been doing that. That's what he's been doing forever. Whenever he goes up there and raps, the click blast and the whip fast and the whip crash, the bitch blast. That's all Cass. Like we all know that. Like one thing I would say about Cass, you can say whatever you want about that motherfucker. But them high 97 freestyles, if I put you on my hit list, you'll walk around wearing football equipment. Like all of them joints, you can't take none of them. We remember them joints mentally. Like them shits isn't better than our brain. You cannot take Cass shit and think nobody ain't gonna remember. Like it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna work. Niggas is gonna call you out every single time. But in this regard, Sue Surf called out Kaz saying that you can't make a song called Plagiarism taking another nigga shit. And then he basically said it was whack. Basically, he was like, this shit is not even hot anyway. So I want y'all niggas to let me know what y'all think about this whole situation and whether it's uh, a, what y'all want to see out of it. You know what I'm saying? Sue Surf don't do diss records, so you ain't going to see him jumping on no diss records and dissing Kaz and no shit like that. I don't do not expect to see no shit like that. But, you know, Kaz is Kaz and we know how that goes. So he's probably going to this surf in some way shape or form i do see that coming if not on record probably on um instagram or video and some shit you know how he talks the face off if them niggas didn't have a face off that face off would probably be one of the best face offs of all time but other than that let's keep it short so i don't get caught y'all niggas know what it is gang